subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by. I'm your girl, Bella, and I would totally love if you join me on my YouTube adventures. So make sure you hit on that subscribe button and this little bell. That's important. <laughs> Hi, guys. To my oldies and besties, hello, hello, hello. How are you? I know. You saw. We're drinking hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Let me explain a little bit about hot chocolate before I show you my hot chocolate bar. Because there is nothing, in my opinion, my opinion only, my opinion only, there is nothing better than hot chocolate on a cold winter night with a Hallmark movie playing at Christmas. Oh, yeah. And hot chocolate in my house is a really big deal. So let me show you what I've been up to because I think this year the, cop, the hot cocoa bar is the cutest ever. You guys ready? Let's do it with a decorate with me and I'll kind of show you what I've done and we'll go along the process so you can see what I'm talking about. So I have this little area. It's in my butler's pantry. I have a butler's pantry. It's got two countertops on either side and you walk through and you go to my dining room and on one side I did the coffee bar which you've either already seen in a video or I'm gonna show you after this one not sure um, and then the other side is only for hot chocolate that's how serious I am about hot chocolate come on enough of me yip yapping let me show you okay guys so we are in my butler's pantry as you can see behind me, I have a countertop like this with four cabinets on the top and four cabinets on the bottom. I am not a fan of these cabinets at all or this countertop. This is just my temporary house. So if this was my, my house, these cabinets would be white and this countertop would be a totally different color. Now, I am going to make do with what I have and I want to bring some light to this area because I find this really dark. Anyways, this is what I've started with. Okay, I started with this beautiful runner that I picked up at uh, TJ Maxx. I think I picked it up at TJ Maxx. And that amazing hot cocoa bar sign. It says Christmas blend, hot cocoa served here. I got it Joann's. I got it on a super good sale. Now, let me show you this. You can see this is a little tray. I'm going to take these off and show you better. Okay, so you can tell by this I'm kind of going with like a little bit of a rustic theme because I want to tie in that sign and I'm doing it pretty traditional with the reds and the whites and I'm just going to use this as my tray to um, highlight where I am putting the hot chocolate. Now, speaking of hot chocolate, look how cute these little mason jars are. They even come with a little chalkboard sign. I have, I love hot chocolate. I wasn't kidding when I told you. Turtle hot chocolate? Yeah, a must. Look at this one. After eight hot chocolate. And I even think we got a coffee crisp. Now, I don't know if my American girls know about this chocolate bar, but it is amazing. Okay, so these are the specialty hot chocolates. And I put them in here, and all I've done is I've added this little Girl Gang ribbon um, that I got at uh, Walmart. It's super cute. I just tied a regular bow to it and then angle cut the edges. So I'm going to start with that. This is the regular hot chocolate. I just added it loosely here. I bought the big packs of hot chocolate, and I put it there. And then this one is a marshmallow, because who doesn't love marshmallows? Speaking of marshmallows, let's get okay, to that. Um, what cocoa bar doesn't need marshmallows? And we got two kinds here. I picked up this cute little jar at my local dollar store. Can you believe it? I think it was $4. It's pretty substantial. And again, I used the same ribbon, and I got two different kinds of marshmallows. These ones are amazing. And I'm pretty sure they're from the dollar store or Dollar Tree. One of the two. Amazing. They taste so good. I've already been through a bag of them. And these are the regular white ones. So, you definitely need marshmallows. Okay. What does a good hot cocoa bar need? 
some kind of treat, right? Or mug. Mugs. Yeah, let's do the mugs. Okay, guys. This is how I'm going to display my mugs this year. And I just got a bunch of different Christmas mugs that you can see here. I got some Ray Dunn ones. I got some old ones that I had years ago. This is a cake stand that I got at Hobby Lobby. And it has this beautiful uh, glass dome on top. But the glass dome didn't fit. And I want the cups to be accessible to anyone who's uh, drinking hot chocolate. So I'm going to place it right here. Right there in the corner. And that should be okay. Now... I'm thinking of adding some of these little bottle brush trees to my tray here. And I just got four of them. Hope you can see that and you can't see my backside. I'm sorry I have my backside to you. But like always, when I do a decorate with me video, you guys know I'm going to pan in closer and show you more detail. Okay. I love these signs. Oh my God, guys. I When I found these at Christmas Tree Shop, I couldn't resist. I had to buy both. <laughs> I'm that girl. I told you, I'm that girl. Anyways, these were only $5.99. Look how big they are. Um, this one says, hot cocoa, surf here. And this one says, baby, it's cold outside, warm up here. So cute. Okay, I'm going to put one over here. And one on this side. Ooh, I got an idea. I think my hot cocoa bar needs some treats. I just grabbed this awesome cake stand that I had. I love this thing. I love the wood element. It ties in with a wood tray and the sign. It's a glass dome. And I just added some a little Debbie cakes in there. They're the Christmas trees. They're kind of cute. They're really cute. So I just put this here. Um, and I'm going to put it right in the other corner just to kind of balance things out. So now you got two trays on either side and the hot cocoa in the middle. But now I think we need some decor. Like we definitely need some decor. Okay, I'm going to start with this little Christmas tree here that I have. It is so cute. And it even lights up. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Okay, let's put this over here. Okay, we got just a little bit of light in there. Looks kind of cute. I like it so far. And I have two of these trees. And they're just like red berry trees with a little bit of uh, gold sparkle to them. Because the bases are gold. Now these are pretty old. I've had these for years and years and years. So I think I'm just going to add them here. On either side. Oh, that looks kind of cute. And it gives it some height. There we go. I think that looks really cute. Yeah, looks cute. Okay, guys. White Cocoa Bar is not complete without this. It's the cutest. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm obsessed. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. This was at Walmart, and it was only $2.97. I'm using it for display. No one is allowed to drink from this ever. I added this Hershey... Um, candy cane chocolate bar and some um, candy canes if you want to use them with your hot cocoa I thought that would be really cute and since this is only for display I figured why don't we put some treats in here super cute right so I think I'm gonna put her over here and then look what I got I got her husband Santa Claus I mean you can't live without Santa Claus right I mean I'm a child, so yeah. Look at these. Are these not the cutest things you have ever seen? It is a candy cane spoon. Yeah, from the Dollar Tree. Adorable, adorable, adorable. I'm telling you, adorable. I think these are new this year. Okay, I'm gonna put this little guy all the way down here. And I think the very last thing I think it needs is some candles yeah so I got this candle it's a mason jar it's red Ooh, this smells so good it's kind of like a candy cane smell to it oh where did I get this Lord only knows <laughs> okay I'm 
I'm gonna add this one over here. And then I got this adorable candle. Wait till you see this one. Look at this. How cute is this? It says milk rich and creamy. Oh my god, it smells so good. I got it at Hobby Lobby. They, I got it last year. They still have them this year. And look at the lid. It's even got a chocolate chip cookie on it. So I'm going to add this here. Okay, guys. I'm going to light those candles. And then I'm going to give you a tour of the hot cocoa bar. And I'll be right back. <laughs> That is the end of the video. Please make sure you give this video a giant, giant thumbs up. Like, comment, and share. I totally appreciate your comments. I actually want to know what you guys think of the hot cocoa bar. Because I think it turned out super cute this year. Super, super cute. I think it's got a cute vibe with a kind of rustic vibe. It ties into my coffee bar, which you will buy or already seen or about to see. <laughs> okay, guys. So... Yeah, I'm going to go make myself a cup of hot chocolate. What flavor should I do? Mm. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys. See you soon.